So this is our second installment of solving a system of equations by the addition method. Now, what they've done with this example is it is intentionally made to confuse you. They've put that plus 3 and a minus 3 right on top of each other, but you have to take a careful look and you notice one is y and one is x. So how in the world am I going to solve these? Well, the first thing I need to do is remember we talked about ax plus by equals c. And so that's the form that I want to get each one of these into. So I'm going to rewrite them first so that you can see how I get what I get. So I'm going to subtract 3y from each side, which then will give me 2x minus 3y equals 9. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. I've got 4y equals 8 minus 3x. I'm going to add 3x in this case to both sides. And then that's going to give me 3x plus 4y equals 8. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write these on top of one another so I can figure out what, if anything, I need to multiply by to use the addition method. Okay, so now I've got them on top of each other. Now, which ones already have a different sign? Well, the y's have a different sign. So I'm going to find the least common multiple, which is 12. So I'm going to multiply the top by 3 times what is 12? 4. 4 times what is 12? 3. And so that's going to give me 8x minus 12y equals 36. And then I'm going to get 9x plus 12y equals 24. So now I need to add those together. So what I want to do first is I'm going to rewrite them at the top of the next page or the next column so that we can all see exactly what I'm doing and I'm not running off the screen. Now you notice that remember the purpose of this was so that one of the variables, either x or y, would cancel and we notice that the y's are going to cancel. So I do 8 plus 9 which is 17 and then I do 36 plus 24 which is 60. Oh this isn't looking good is it? So I need to get x so I'm going to get divide both sides by 17 and then I get x equals 60 over 17. Ugh, that's really ugly isn't it? But that's okay. So we just want to, that is x so now we need to find y and in order to do that we need to su substitute that value back into one of our equations. I think the top one looks kind of cool, so I'm going to do 2 times 60 over 17 equals 9 plus 3y. And then I'm going to have to subtract 9 from both sides. So this will just give me 3y on the right. And then over here, you're actually going to do some multiplication and some simplification. So how are we going to do that? Well. I need you to actually sit down and do the calculation and make sure that you get it correct. So you should have gotten minus 33 over 17 and I kind of showed you up here how I did the fraction. So now I need to divide by 3. So I'm going to divide this side by 3 and then when I divide by 3 remember it's the same thing as multiplying by 1 third. And then you'll notice that I have some cancellation that happens. If I divide this by 3 I get 1 and this I get 11. So I'm finding out that y equals minus 11 over 17. Again, you'd want to actually go in and verify that these work, and then that would be your solution set.